Well guys, I got a new package, but this time it's not a tea. It's crickets. So I got some lovely food supplies from the pet store. 100 superworms and 300 crickets for the 116 teas. Hopefully I'll be making a new feeding video tomorrow. I'm sure the teas are going to be very hungry and we'll probably see some good results. Alright, so I'll show you basic uh, cricket care. Uh, crickets are the main s source of diet that I use for the teas. I can't use roaches uh, for obvious reasons. So <laughs> I've been using also uh, mealworms or superworms as a substitute. And it's really great way to feed the teas. It all just fattens them up. And you can see the Pyrminia. Uh, I remember feeding her like four superworms and she molted right after. So they go pretty quickly and they do just good of a job as feeding mice. So you know like I, I, help, I said my views on mice. I really don't like using them because uh, they have too much high calcium for, their, for a tea. And it, it's just not great for them. So what I'm going to do now is show you how I feed the crickets, essentially. So I have here cricket food that I got from the Montreal Expo, and I'm sure that it can be available in most pet shops. So I have here uh, some little soil uh, so the crickets can uh, go and lay their eggs. Actually, what I'll do is I'll spray some of uh, eco-earth, pack it down, so that way they have some... Uh, substrate to, to lay their eggs so I can have some pinheads. That's how you raise them. There we go. Now, give them water. I recommend using like a little um, Kleenex so that way they don't drown. And for here, this is what I use. I use some lettuce. Any type of lettuce works. I like lettuce because it's good nutrition for the cr crickets and the gut solves them very quickly. Alright, so then I love giving carrots too as a supplement because they can get their vitamin A and it's really good for teas too. So, I'm just ripping off some couple of uh, lettuce that's pretty much sufficient. Now I'm going to take some carrots, baby carrots. them in there. And I'll have some for myself too. Uh, I'm probably going to give around four of those stalks. There you go, perfect. So that's basically what I use to feed the crickets. Now to transfer the 300 now. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Okay, so hopefully you can see. I'm hoping this is going to be a good feeding video, so I'm not going to feature the Hapapama albostriatum, like I said during the transfer video, because uh, she's new and I just want to give her a couple of days before uh, she's fully acclimated. My god, that's a lot of crickets, man. Man, the teas are going to be hungry tomorrow. I can see them look at them all. And I recommend for hiding places, uh, egg cartons. They're just great. They just like to hide under there. And like to uh, have fun and do what they like best. I even have some uh, little baby ones. So I can feed uh, my oh, bee wagons and uh, sea shoity. Cool. So then I'll give you one last update on the H. I will try Adam now, since uh, she's settled in so far. She's there. She's starting to make some webs. I just pre-dug a little burrow for her. So I'm hoping she takes it. She's, she's in heavy pre-mold, like I said, so hopefully she's going to molt very soon. And then for mealworms, or superworms, 
well, those new worms are just uh, baby super worms. All I do is just give them some lettuce, and they'll just uh, thrive on it. So enjoy your last meal, guys, because you're going to get eaten tomorrow. Sad, but you know what T's got to eat. So uh, that's my video on the cricket care and feeding them, and then waiting for that big old feeding video that I love to make. So, hope you enjoyed it guys, and thanks for watching.